Officials with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department say it's come up with an estimate now of how many fish died along the coast from last month's freeze. And as our Brian Burns reports, experts say it shouldn't have a major impact on sport fishing or local restaurants. In short, we haven't really seen any interruption in local fish. Richard Lomax, the president of Water Street Restaurants, says the freeze and subsequent fish kills have not caused a break in the fish supply chain. People that eat in our restaurants like to go fish, and if there's less reason to come to the coast, we could probably sense it that way. But as far as supply chain, um, not really sensing it right now. According to Texas Parks and Wildlife, an estimated 3.8 million fish died during the February winter storm because they couldn't make it to deeper and warmer water. State researchers say the fish kill consists of at least 61 species like silver perch, hardhead catfish, pinfish, bay anchovy, and striped mullet. The director of the Sport Fish Center at the Heart Research Institute says mainly smaller bait fish were affected. A small percentage of those, about 10%, was game fish. The others were forage fish, and we still do care about those because they provide food supply for the fish that support our economies like trout and redfish. Dr. Greg Stun says while people who like to fish need to proactively catch and release, the outlook for the ecosystem's recovery is an optimistic one. Mother Nature's resilient. Everything is spawning right now. Many of this fish are contributing back to the population, so that's a good thing. But we still should, 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 should exercise some concern here because we want to do the things that promote recovery as fast as possible. This is not the first freeze to occur in Texas coastal waters. Multiple freeze events occurred during the 80s, killing almost 32 million fish, with the most severe impacts being on the lower coast. Stun says coastal fisheries will go a long way towards helping recovery in the north and south Laguna Madre. But for restaurants that serve fish, they are not in short supply. Brian Burns, 3 News.